this was weighing on me this morning. And so, usually when something's weighing on me like this, I need to go ahead and get it off my chest. Because... This might be the brightest spot in a person's dismal life. And it's dismal. Oh, I know it's dismal. Me, I'm good. I'm in a nice warm bed. Got my warm electric blanket on all by myself. I mean, I'm a Pisces and an only child. I love my space. I love my bedtime. I love my food time. I don't like to share unless I like to share. I either overshare or don't share enough. Whatever. But anyway... When it comes to my bed, no, nobody, I don't have a lot of people in my bed. I don't, I don't do that ever, 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 ever. And that's what got you in trouble. You brought too many damn people and or you were forced. Yes, I do know what that feels like. Yes, I do promise. On my mama, on my daddy, on my husband, on myself, on God. The next person who tries to force themselves on me will die. Did I stutter? Look in my eyes. Do I look like I'm lying about that? There are a variety of ways to kill people. Crazy, fanatical people don't get it. Delusional people don't get it. You have delusional people around you. You have delusional people who have groomed you. You have people who I look at, if we were going to play the Harry Potter thing, if I lay hands on them, it's going to be like me laying hands on Voldemort or whoever, and when you burn their happy little asses away. I will destroy them on purpose, okay? They will die. But they're already dying. And they should. I have absolutely no sympathy whatsoever. May they burn and burn and burn forever in hell. And they're doing it. One way or the other, a nice, long, slow death for all the shit that they've done and will continue to do. Because you can't tell delusional crazy people who are addicts well they don't hear you they don't understand what no is but they understand death back to you though you should have got these people out of your life a long time ago and I know it's hard. It's hard for someone who actually loves their family or what you call family, but your family doesn't love you. If I had bodyguards, if I were paying bodyguards, the purpose of your job is to guard my body. But clearly your bodyguards are getting checks from your groomers. So they're guarding your groomers, not you. I would destroy your groomers first and foremost. Destroy them. All I see when I look at them is I just see knives going across their heads, just chopping off their heads. That's 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 something that's never going to get out of my mind. I mean, I just see heads rolling like uh, Alice taking off the Jabberwocky or like Alice in Resident Evil. They're all evil to me. They're all demonic and evil and crazy. And I don't care how they pray to God call to God what type of table talk they want, what type of guru they talk to, however they manipulated people in the past, I will break their happy little asses like I break off the pieces of bubbles, my fashionista anger management doll. The only thing about it is at least I can put bubbles back together. These hoes, gender not specific, I will not. Your mammy, your pappy, and your sister are nothing but thoughts. And they're always going to be thoughts. I don't give a damn you keep coming after me with my shit, then bitch, I come after you. Let that be on your tombstone. 
meant every word of it. Meant every word of it. And every word will be true. But you. Believe it or not, I'm actually going to pray for you. I don't think it will help at this moment. Because you have to pay. You had a choice and you chose wrong. But you really didn't have a chance. And that's what was wrong. You didn't even have a chance. Because of what you grew up in. You grew up in a household full of sin. And corruption. And devastation. Nothing but bad seeds. In fact, there was one small chance that you were going to be the seed that somehow could bring a little credit, not to your family name, but to you. Because you grew up in a situation where you didn't have a chance. Because your parents were a hundred times more fucked up than you. And I don't think they really wanted you. I think you were used as a tool. And you continue to be. They are the poster people. Of why certain people shouldn't have families. And yet you have people who want to stick their shit into everybody's shit. And bitches who want to stick their noses in the stuff that's not their biz. You want to control people because you can't control your own addictions or afflictions. You, I hope you all burn in hell. Minute, set it. Did I stutter? Notice any time you call or do anything like that. Oh, I'm talking to them right now. You sit back. I'm talking to the people who would terrorize you. You see, I could tell you were forced to do what you do. But you had a choice. You had a choice. I am tapping right now. You had a choice. But the sad thing about it is you didn't have a chance. And I hope all the ones around that saw that and really didn't do anything that they could have to help you. I hope you burn with that whole demonic, toxic ass crew. If any one of these bitches ever come around me, keep flying over me, men. Keep flying over me, ladies. Service ma'ams. My service and ma'ams. Because they know what military and military brats will do. We don't play that shit, bitch. We don't play that shit. We're not turned on by names and celebrities and whatever you be. Even politicians, we don't give a fuck about the fuckery. You either treat us right or you find out why when you don't. Let that be a lesson to everybody. And I do mean everybody. They're dead to me. Or will be soon enough. You? Going through the toughest time in your life that you will ever have. And it's a good possibility that you won't make it. Because very few do when you have that type of addiction and that type of affliction. But I hope for those family members around you, I pray every day that it's a thousand times worse, okay? And I hate that you would have to be around to see it because you can't help them in any way. You need to save your little coins and your little energy and try to live life as happy as you can with whatever time you have left. 
You need to get that bitch on the side that only wants you for, in fact, all those bitches on the side. In fact, all those tricks on the side. You know what, do you? Why am I talking? Why am I, why am I talking? Because I just, I'm, I just, because I'm too goddamn friendly. I'm too goddamn friendly. That's why I can't, uh, I can't do anything for you. I can't help you because you don't know how to cut cords, but I do. It's easy for me to do this at a distance because I'm not around you. Because if I were around you, I'd kill everybody around you and your bodyguards too. The next person that threatens me again, bitch. <laughs> we're in my season, my dark season too. Oh, I'm not the one who want to play witchcraft or Illuminati games, huh? Because you're going to see a beast you never, ever, ever knew or even thought about come through. And I see Ma, because with his eye looking like, are we doing that same old shit again? You're your scope of your ass wife. Listen, I had an epiphany too. That DMT and those lies going to be the death of you. Because you too are going to die horribly. No matter how much you drug, suck, and fuck. Your whole life has been ate up. And you won't see that Grammy. Wow, was it worth it? Did you use your money well? See, I went somewhere else, but back to the one who this is really, really for. Whatever time you have left, I would strongly advise you, if you even remotely think anything about what I think or what I say, save yourself. Google those words, okay? What does the word save mean? It means you have to take an action, a personal action. Yourself. You have to save you. Not through others. It's not about what others do. It's about what you do. You had enough. You emancipated yourself one time before. Catch a clue. Or did you throw all your rights away to clearly a family that you never knew or chose not to? But I think you did. You saw what they were and you wanted to leave. And you didn't. Well, if you can go all around the world you can leave those dumb bitches, those dumb slugs and thugs and, sl and whatever it be. Find yourself. Find yourself. Find yourself. Do that for me. But you must cut the cords of every body around you right now. That's uh, your message and your answer for me. That's all I got to say today. Please, no, don't. Don't, don't entertain. Because people are following you and tracking you too. And I mean what I say. All those people around you, they bring that drama to me. I will kill them. Creatively, I'm going to do that anyway. But best believe my father and my mother it's going to make them all pay. There are some things you do not do. And clearly, I was a lesson for all of you.
message. Hope you live.